We pulled the casting tank out. I was missing it this year with no shows. First video here is gonna be probably my favorite, very close to my heart. As you can see, I already have the Wounded Soldier on, ready to go. We're gonna do minnow wars today. So minnow plugs are probably my favorite. A lot of uh, a lot of lure companies in the last couple of years have adopted like the weight transfer system from the SP minnow, whether it be um, you know Zuri, the whole Colt sniper with the Shimano. These plugs are super effective from the beach. Uh, they cast phenomenally well. You can use them in the boat. Um, so we're gonna kind of see today what we normally don't see because I'm casting to the abyss. So in the casting tank, we can see the action on these guys. Everybody kind of wants to know what they're doing out there when they're just retrieving these things in. What's triggering the bite in the striped bass? In the casting tank, we get to see those things. So let's get to it, guys. I'm just gonna be doing a couple of rounds and we'll be able to see the, uh, the action and uh, maybe how I impart a little action on these guys to get even more bites. So let's get to it, people. It's casting tank time, minnow wars. Let's get it on. So here we go, SP Minnow. This is a standard six inch size, wounded soldier color, floating. So one thing, we're all learning new things today. I did not realize how loud the rattles on these are. When we are quiet in here, it is very loud. And my retrieve is basically super slow, super steady. I will give a quick twitch and pause. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that. So I'm retrieving it. Oops. Pause, twitch. So many times, as soon as I start retrieving it after the pause, you get smacked. It's almost like you can like, oh, if I'm gonna get hit on this cast, it's gonna be right now. I hope the GoPro kicks, picks up the rattles underwater. And that is my favorite. This is uh, definitely my number one fish catcher. One, because I'm just using it a lot, but uh, two, because it's super effective. Moon Soldier, definitely my favorite. That or San Rita for the nighttime guys. All right, I'd say we go Yozuri next. Wacky Mac, same uh, six inch variety. So it's, it's apples to apples, not apples to oranges, you know? Yeah. TA Clip, saving the day. Wacky Mac, Yozuri Hydro Minnow, same weight transfer system. This, uh, by my deduction, runs a little shallower than the SP. Um, so let's see how she does. And much truer. Off with the Yozuri. I think we're gonna go Shimano again. Cold Sniper. It's like a little peanut bunker color. I would say slightly, yeah, probably three quarters of an inch shorter. So a little bit smaller profile. This is why you remove all the split rings off your foot. All right, let's give Colt Sniper a shot. Shimano, love Shimano products. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that wobble is really nice. I noticed, um, I know most people refer to startup for chatterbait, but um, as you could tell that the Yozuri required a little bit more speed on my retrieve to get it to wobble. And I would say this is much more on par with the Daiwa as far as the speed and retrieve that is required to get the, uh, the proper swimming out of it, you know? So, which is really nice, because um, I do consider this, the slower you can retrieve the plug, the more hits you're gonna get, so. Bada bang. Pretty nice. Little bank shot there. Woo. Look, ooh, 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 what do you know about that twitch? That twitch is max. I'm going in Savage here, little, Needle fishy, sandy John. This isn't for Matt. I love the surface, surface walker is great. I know Matt had great success a couple nights with me with this guy. Um, triple trebles are no good, but other than that, 
See what she does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is a nice wobble. This is a much more finesse, so if you had Sandy all day, this is, would probably be my number one. Cast it very well for its weight. This is a little bit lighter than most of the other options we have up here. Um, but this is nice. Runs a little shallower too. So there's a lot of plugs up here. They all act different. None of them are bad. They're just different, you know? And that's why we got a million lures because <laughs> You, uh, you gotta have something for everything, you know? We're going from Savage Gear, little finesse jaw, to the good old fashioned bomber. These things work. Uh, I love the jointed bombers, I've had great success with them. And they're just a little bit more of a classic, old school, a lot of probably, a lot of people actually have these things already sitting on the tackle trays, so. Mm -hmm. Boom. Love TA clips, hate split rings. What are you gonna do? Boom, oh, rain the camera space. Get up in your naga. Oh yeah, so considerably wider wobble than uh, any of the other minnows. Or I wouldn't say SP is tight wobble, but uh, this is substantially wider swimming action than anything else. So you got pogies around. This is definitely gonna put out a lot more uh, water disturbance and I would say these are probably the loudest rattles of any fluor we've got up here. I can uh, hear them come from my uh, life. This predates the weight transfer technology, so they just uh, they don't cast quite as well, but um, my theory in the surf is that people cast over a lot of fish, so a lot of it is just more proper presentation. This is a little Savage Gear, or um, Dad Mac. Daddy Mac DM Minnow. Man, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. We got the blue here so you guys can see in the casting tank. These do come with, I'd say pretty stout BMC, black nickel hooks. Um, so we roast them about the DV bombs, but I'm giving it back on the DM Minnow because these hooks are the, uh, the Rapala kind of competes because it's got the big singles on it. But as far as treble hooks, these are definitely the best ones in the, in the, um, in our little Minnow shootout here. But I have used these in the boat a lot to great success. Um, I knew that swam harder than that. I knew. I was like, dude. That makes my bolt rod thump really hard when we're trolling this stuff. So. Very loud rattles as well. Patrick Seville is gonna be all loving me. Wide back mana. This is why we pulled up the Legend Elite. Jake was so nice to just donate this rod to me. He's the nicest kid you ever meet in your life. <laughs> All right, I did great off the NASA last year on this guy. I know this is gonna swim really hard, but uh, this is definitely, I'd say close to an ounce heavier than anything else we got going here. So, wide back minnow, they're gonna be swimming real wide. I can guarantee that. Boom, big splash down. Puts out a lot of water disturbance. You know when you got this thing tied on because your rod be thumping. Pokey color, phenomenal color. I got it in the blurple, um, but this would probably be my preferred daytime color for this plug. These will dig deeper than we were allowing in the tank, just uh, by speed wise. If I, uh, if I had my nine foot surfer, I could probably get this a foot deeper. Um, but yeah, that thing would be rattling. Definitely the biggest profile here too. So if you got pogies around, um, this is definitely the one I would choose. All right, we got the Rapala on here. I will commend Rapala for running pretty stout hooks and going singles, absolutely the way of the future. Really, more manufacturers need to wake up to this, um, especially for the catch and release guys, that's me, so I love it. So blurple color, let's give her a little cast around. Definitely some good weight here, so I feel like this is gonna cast very well. Um, definitely more of a glider, 
slash twitch bait. Uh, doesn't swim quite as hard as the other minnow options. Um, but it does have like a nice, um, I don't know, I won't call it like a wander, you know? We're pulling out the Joe bags for the money bags. Got a green Mac here. Very similar profile to the SP Minnow, a little bit different face design. This one is a new one for both of us. I have yet to fish one or cast one, or see one in the tank. So, this is all new. Definitely um, runs kind of true. The rear end, I think this would be a great candidate for a single hook on the back. The action um, is greatly increased with, with the mag darter hooked up like that, and I think this thing would be very similar, you know? Um, and I also think that with most uh, kind of darter style minnows, um, more current the better, you know? So that will um, help it kind of dig a little bit deeper and swim a little bit harder too so give her one more very loud rattles nice twitch and pause here all right people spend money bags we pay here with minnow wars i don't want to say definitely my favorite but other than blocktail you know, these plugs are probably um, my most commonly thrown plugs. It's very nice to see them all in the tank. I hope this is super informative for you guys. Um, I think SP is still killing it for me, but it's nice to see these guys in the tank, see the action. Now uh, we gotta go grab some, hit the beach. You know, Jake, dump truck, and money bags are gonna be out there later. So get out. Get on the bite. I think in the next week now, we're gonna be starting to see a lot of 30 pounders. I'm gonna be absent from the shop for a week because I'm gonna be out there. So uh, I hope you guys are doing the same and have a great day, you guys. Peace.